It's a great win against bottom of League 2, Doncaster Rovers. You've managed to beat the lowest ranked team in the leagues in the Carabao Cup. You must be delighted. Look, you know, the, the TV cameras were here tonight because they were expecting to see a big shock. And they got one because we bloody won. I mean, I can't believe it. This is a massive cup upset. I can't believe we beat a team like Doncaster Rovers. I mean, they've spent more money than us. They've got better players than us. Uh, you know, they've even got plastic seats in the stadium. I mean, this is unbelievable. It really is. And this is our longest cup running years. Amazing. And sure, just how impressed were you with the new signing, b b b b Beto, I mean, I've never seen a quicker striker in my life. After five minutes of watching his new teammates, he sprinted towards the stadium fence, jumped right over it, and then absolutely sprinted towards Doncaster Airport. Honestly, oh, you should have seen him sprinting down the motorway. I've never seen anyone move so fast. He was unbelievable. But we did manage to catch up with him, brought him back, and he scored a great goal. And, uh, you know, he's right up there now with uh, Tim Howard, and uh, Neil Melpe in terms of Everton goals, absolutely prolific. There were a few negatives in the game, but what positives do you take from tonight's performance, Sean? Yeah, look, you know, in terms of positives, I think one of the main ones is we're going to be back playing at this stadium very soon because we're going to have three relegations on the bounce coming up. And that's absolutely, you know, it's great for the lads to know what to expect when we come back here. Uh, Neil Mopé was in his element out there. He absolutely loved him. We always knew he'd find his level eventually. Great lad. You made a lot of substitutions at half-time, Sean. How furious were you with those players? Those players that I brought off at half-time were an absolute disgrace to the Everton shirt. Absolute disgrace. And I, I can promise the fans I'm going to give those players the most horrible, severe punishment any Everton player can ever receive. They're all getting 10-year contracts. No, 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 I'm sorry, they are. They are. End of story. I've given them new contracts. It's, they deserve that punishment. They're a disgrace. First half was a terrific performance. You must have given them a good talking to to turn things around like that in the second half. I never said anything to them. I didn't even want to speak to them. Uh, they just started drinking some of those Carabao energy cans that were all over the place and... The next minute, they're running around like lunatics in the second half. Even I had a few cans, to be fair. That's why I'm absolutely off the head. <laughs> I really am, but... No, honestly, I mean, what a shame it's not called the Carabao Premier League. Honestly, we'd stand a chance if it was. Congratulations, Sean. You are today's wash and go manager of the match. How you've managed to get those players to win an actual football match is simply sensational. Is this some kind of bloody joke? What am I supposed to do with this? I'm as bald as a bloody boiled egg. But, nah, you know what, in all seriousness, this is the only trophy I'm ever going to win as ever a manager. It's going straight in the trophy cabinet. I just can't wait to get back to Liverpool now and get on the open bus parade for the fans. Oh, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Do you know what? As I said, I promised the supporters we'd win things, and we have done absolutely brilliant.